Hello everyone, my name is Kamal, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to take some urban street fashion photography and take pictures like these. So let's not waste any time and let's go shoot some bangers. So as you can clearly tell it's night now and I filmed footage but the audio was unusable and I'm not even exaggerating it was disgusting. So I'm re-recording all of this for you. Okay so the first thing I want to talk about today is how I like to take my street portraits. To me on the streets there are three I guess important things to take into consideration when you're taking your portraits. Okay so let's start by talking about light. In cities light is a double-edged sword because in one hand, in midday, you know, when you're like, it's 12 p.m., you have very harsh sunlight. It reflects on the ground and is even harsher, you know, when the concrete is like gray or white tiles or whatever. Nice. And so you gotta pick your moment right. And to me, the right moment is usually around 3 to 5 p.m., unless you want golden hour, like pure golden hour, it's like, you know, 5 to 6 usually. But to me, the peak moment is 3 to 5 p.m. Because the sun is no longer in the middle of the sky, but it's kind of, you know, going in between all the buildings. And what ends up happening is that you have really diffuse lighting that's like going through many buildings. But also, you have lots of like sharp sun rays. And I like these because they kind of cut through the hair of the model that you're shooting. So it's like really, it, it gives off this really warm vibe. And it really works simply because when, when you're on the street, it's usually very monochromatic, you know, it's like stone and like concrete and all these things. So having warm sunlight that goes off and like cuts through the monochromatic nature of city and ends up like going on your model and stuff, it really works a lot. The second thing I want to talk about is the actual places you go to, the locations. Now, usually I like to go location scouting with my friends. We just like go in the car, or like have very long walks where we try to find places to take pictures. But, as you can see, I'm living in the middle of the city and we don't really have any special places, any special places, I can't talk today, any special places, and so this is actually just a street in my city, it's not a special street, it's no nothing, it's just a random street in my city, but I just felt that the way the light goes there is very interesting simply because like it gets cut off by a very tall building, so you only have the like hair light, rim light thing that happens. If I'd have to recommend some places in the cities, you'd want either very big open spaces or very long streets. So you have, you know, leading lines or like very, you have lots of uh, like blurry background and bokeh and it looks good usually in street photography and urban portrait things. And the last thing I want to talk about is the outfits. You know, it's kind of hard with the outfits because you want to take something that's modern and urban, but you don't really want to take a Tron suit either, you know? So, you know, get like hoodies, jeans, a cap, sneakers, these kind of things, and they really work in this context simply because, you know, it's city. It's like, it feels very city. And so, make sure to get, like, the proper colors, too. To me, the perfect colors are colors that pop, because since everything is so monochromatic, when you, when you have colors like red, like blue, but even something like black works simply because everything around is gray, so black is still, like, very contrasty with the background. You know, just having colors that pop with the background. And don't do the same mistake that I did, get poses written down or at least learn how to pose people because I was there with my friends who were trying to take pictures and I don't know how to pose people, I have no idea how to do that. And so my friend was there literally searching on Pinterest for poses to like, you know, get inspired from. Are you searching for poses? Yeah. Why? Because I'm fucking stiff as fuck. But you know. I hope you enjoyed the pictures and if you'd like more videos like this or if you think I should make them longer and more in depth, let me know in the comments down below in both ways. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Peace out guys. For YouTube. <laughs> nice. <laughs>